Hello guys. Um, tonight, because it's night time here, I am going to show you how to do um, basic hacks in Grand Turismo 5 Update 2.14. <clears throat> now I'm going to try and hack an R34 Skyline. I actually haven't done that before, so I don't know how well it's going to hack. So I'm just going to Nissan. I'll go and buy an R34. I'll just leave it the um, normal color. Because I really don't need to change it. And um, um, this time, while hacking it, you actually have to be in the car. So, you can, not like Garage Editor where you have to change into another car. You have to actually be in the car you want to hack. Oh crap, I just bumped the tripod. Great. Well, let me adjust it back. Okay. All good. Now, I am in the car. First thing I always do before quitting out of the game is <coughs> going ahead and buying racing socks and then transmission. Uh, suspension. Don't recommend you buying anything else. You could probably buy these. Um, an LSD actually reduces horsepower for some reason, so I would not recommend you buy this before you do the hack because you probably won't get as much horsepower. Because you'll notice after you do the horsepower hack, if you install it, the horsepower will reduce so you don't want to up upgrade that. Okay, should be done. <coughs> now, I'm going to go and apply my um, desired visual modifications to the car. So I'm going to be doing a downforce hack. And if you do any visual modifications after the downforce hack, it will reset the downforce hack. So I don't want that. So I want to do everything beforehand. I don't. I don't like that. I like putting this on. I think. Can't really see any difference. Why is the front thing? I don't like that. Is this one? Where it puts the thing on the rear. That's it. Little side skirts. Yeah, I want that. Okay. That looks nice. Don't want a custom spoiler because, um, oh yeah, yes, actually, we do want a custom spoiler. So I want to remove it. So we want the highest grade spoiler you can possibly get. So this is the low, lowest grade of standard. On here, middle is A and highest is B. Some cars. They're the highest grade spoiler is only A, you can't buy a type B, and sometimes cars will have a type C, which is the highest grade, so you want to get the one with the highest letter on the end. So yeah, so I want to get rid of this. <coughs> okay, that should be it. We don't want to change the oil just yet because we'll be doing it to apply the hack after we get back in the game. Okay. Now I'm going to save the data using this save button over here reason why 
because, well, it forces a save and you get backup data, which is important because, yes, I have happened to lose my data a couple of times through corruption, and the backup data has saved me. People say that deleting the backup data will actually make the hacks work. Well, they work anyway. You don't need to delete the backup data. Deleting it is probably a stupid idea. Okay. <clears throat> now we got to copy your current save data onto a flash drive. So let's get this. You can see in the current car we got the Skyline R34, which is the one we want to hack. So we put it on the USB. Yep, overwrite, overwrite. Okay, now we're done. Let's go over to the computer. Okay, so what you do here now is um, pull the USB out of the PlayStation and put it into your computer. So once it starts up, just ignore all of this. Now I'm going to put this program in the description. I actually have made it myself, just like Ultimate Farm Manager. Which is Grand Turismo 5 Car Hack Workshop. Now, once you open this program, the first thing you're going to have to do is browse for your data. You want to click on that. BCE, the numbers will most likely be different. The way you can tell is it will have a dash game on the end. And the start will be, should be, BCE. <coughs> this program will tell you whether it is actually the proper Gran Turismo save data folder though. By this message, if this message does not come up, then it's probably not the correct folder. Now when you cl click decrypt, it's going to automatically send you over to page 1. And it'll tell you your hack offset, which can be useful to remember this, so probably write it down somewhere. <coughs> I can remember this easy because I've hacked my data so many times. Now we're on page one. Now, some of this stuff does not work anymore. This program, I haven't updated it um, very much since um, patch 2.11, which is a patch where you could do pretty much anything you wanted on. I miss those days greatly. And that Dome Zero that I had, that was an epic car. I don't have any more sadly. Anyway, that doesn't matter anymore. <coughs> we want to hack this beast. Now, I have no idea what I should do to it, but I will guess I'll kind of run through what does work. So you can do engine swaps and chassis swaps and pretty sure you can do transmission swaps as well. And anything that like swaps should work because um, in this program I've made it so it does put the 74 in front of those 8 F's on the data as you save it so it does give you a little bit of freedom. So you don't have to go in and do that in HXD or any of that thing. So you put the engine in here. You don't have to put it here, but I just marked that as engine <coughs> because you can save chassis. So I could rip the chassis for the DeLorean or the X1 and put it straight onto the Skyline right now. And I do not want to do this because that will wreck the skyline, I don't want to wreck it. You can make any car four wheel drive by clicking this button. That's it, that makes it four wheel drive. This is a torque split for the front wheels. So if you make this um, 30, then 
70% of the power will go to the rear wheels and 30% will go to the front wheels. If you make this, um, um, <coughs> if you make it like zero, you can make a four wheel drive go to 100% rear wheel drive because if you make this zero, 0% zero of the power will go to the front wheels and 100% of the power will go to the rear wheels. Um, I don't think this works, so don't worry about that one. And neither do these ones that work. Now we can save that. Now oh, it's done. Now we can get onto the downforce hack. <coughs> I was like to have about 15 to 20 on the front, and about 40 on the back. It makes the car stick to the ground a little bit better, but. In this case, we're going to raise the horsepower, and hopefully it will raise very high. So I actually want to put a lot of downforce on. You can have up to 255 on either the front or the back. So I'm going to put 200 on the back, and about 50 on the front. Now, um, I don't know how well these ones work. <laughs> and I also mentioned about getting rid of the spoiler. You can still do that. Click on the help and you will see make sure the higher stage spoiler is installed. Yes, it has an increase of value by one. So you can see there. You have to put the zero in front, otherwise it will not work because this is hex. This is a hex value, so you could put FF in there if you wanted to, but that wouldn't work. So we want zero three. <coughs> Um, I don't know if the removing hood works, but, and that doesn't work, anyway, we don't want to do any of that, I'll allow you to figure it out if you want to, and here's the um, turbo and exhaust values, these are the same ones as you see in um, a GT5 garage editor, they do exactly the same thing except on um, on here they actually seem to be a lot more effective because I got a tank car engine in a Mazda Autozam to reach 1.2 million horsepower <coughs> just by making the turbo FF 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 that's it you should be all set now, if you have any paint codes or anything, you can put them in here. Um, I don't have any at the moment. I used to. There used to be a website on Next Gen, which you could get the paint codes off. You could do the Borglitz and get twenty million dollars. I don't know how well twenty million dollars works anymore. Um, might as well Let's see if it works. And okay, let's save, make sure everything's good, which it is, that's the way I want it, and finally you click encrypt, and once that comes up, you can unplug a USB, and plug it back into the PlayStation, and copy your data back. Okay, we're back on the PlayStation. Is my USB. Now we've got to copy the data back onto the PlayStation. So, yep, yep, override. Now, this speed backup data is useful. Sometimes it won't work. Like, I did that 20 million horsepower hack thing. I didn't know if that 20 million horsepower hack would actually still work, so it could possibly corrupt my data which is why I want the backup data just in case. So we go into the game.
Now the long wait begins for the text at the bottom of the screen to come up. If it never comes up, that means the data is not going to load. Sometimes it can take up to a minute for it to come up after you hack data, so be patient. And I think that's the case this time. Here we go. It actually came up pretty quickly. I've had it almost take two minutes for that text to come up. So be patient. Wait for about two minutes until the orange hard drive light on your PS3 stops blinking for a while. And that's when you give up because you know it's doing nothing. Now the Skyline should have no spoiler and <coughs> should have quite a bit of horsepower. I don't know how much horsepower I actually gain. I don't think this is actually the best car for horsepower. As some cars actually work better than others. Okay. Yep, no spoiler. How good's that? How much horsepower we got? 154,000 horsepower out of a Skyline engine. That's pretty good. And you notice the PP is actually going down when I'm doing this. That's because um, I reach the point where the PP starts um, to go negative. If I add a little bit more power, I'll actually get a negative PP car. Or a little bit more downforce. Just to. <coughs> So anything that will de increase the PP now, actually will decrease it. So now we can apply upgrades and do whatever we want. As long as we don't go and change the spoiler, it should be fine. Um, I don't know what rims I'll have, I have these ones. <coughs> and I'll just go and paint the body. I use Garage Editor to give my, myself um, a matte paint through tickets. I'm pretty sure it was tickets or whatever. I know what I should have. Let's check out Matte Black. I haven't actually used Matte Black that much. That's alright. I actually like Matte Red better. I know what you guys think of this matte black, no wing skyline, whatever. I like matte wet red, matte light red. Because red's one of my favorite colors. My opinion, that looks better, I guess. <coughs> now it's time to test this thing. I actually don't like these kind of cars that have over 10,000 horsepower because that's ridiculous. You really can't do anything with the car. And the transmission hack is very, very touchy. It only works sometimes. So it is actually quite hard to make the car go over 999 miles per hour. So I really don't bother. But you can do it using the transmission editor in the car hack workshop. And check out this torque curve. That's horrible. Go from 154,000 horsepower to zero halfway through my gear. Oh well. I will stretch the gear as much as possible. Probably should have put a Red Bull transmission in it, then I would have at least got 1,500 kilometers an hour out of its top speed. But I didn't do that. I probably could have, but mm, didn't think of it at the time. It's still pretty fast though. 
you've got plenty of downforce. Sometimes even having too much downforce on the rear can screw it up, so I don't even know if this thing will actually stay in a straight line. The downforce can really screw things up if you do it incorrectly. Especially a lot of front downforce. You do not want that. Because it just makes it spin out. So you can practice. Or an online lobby or whatever you want to try it in. Definitely manual. No traction control. Driving option should be all set. Let's go, let's try this thing out. Straight into sixth gear. Shit, this thing's doing wheelies. That's crazy. Ah, it's not going any faster because of the big dip in power halfway through the gear. You can see that it's not going any higher than about 9,000 RPM. It's just sitting at 9,000. But it's sticking to the track really well because it's got 200 downforce on the rear. That's crazy. <coughs> See how well this thing accelerates. It goes pretty well. I don't think I'll be able to get away with using this on an online server. I think I'll probably be kicked by the host. It's very hard to control this power. Goes around corners like a bus. You barely even clock 300 around this corner. Piece of crap skyline. The good cars, but this one isn't. <laughs> this one's just not co not cooperating with me at the moment. That wheelie. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that wheelie. There you go. That is how you hack cars after the update. It's very simple with my program and I will put it into the, the link into the description so that everyone else can use it. It's better than using HXD, I can tell you that much. I'll, I'll end my video here. Um, post a comment, or rate, and subscribe if you wish. <coughs> uh, have a nice day, or night, and enjoy hacking. <laughs>